Daily Message, March the 25th, 2024. Today, we turn our attention to the gospel according to Mark. Keeping in mind, there's only one gospel, but four accounts of it in the New Testament. Even though the author of the gospel of Mark is anonymous, John Mark was considered the author, even in the first century. Mark recorded Peter's preaching about the things that Jesus said and did, but not in order. Mark was probably the first gospel written, for the other gospels quote all but 31 verses of Mark. Mark's main purpose was to present the person, work, and teaching of Jesus. Mark records more miracles than does any other gospel. His target audience were the Christians in Rome, where he wrote the gospel. The central theme of Mark is Jesus, the mighty Messiah and Son of God, who obediently suffers as the servant of the Lord to pay the ransom price for sins and as a model of suffering and sacrifice for his disciples to follow. The key verse is Mark 10, verse 45. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. A distinctive literary feature of Mark's gospel is its fast-moving narrative style. The narrative is fond of the Greek word euthos, an adverb translated immediately. It appears 42 times in Mark, whereas in Matthew it appears five times, and in Luke only once. Its effect is to propel the narrative forward. Eleven of those 42 times are in the first chapter of Mark. Besides the fast-moving narrative of Mark's gospel, another characteristic is outsiders becoming insiders by faith. Mark also shows us the human side of Jesus. In fact, of the four Gospels, Mark presents the most human and down-to-earth portrait of Jesus. Jesus, who expresses a range of human emotions that we as readers can relate to. Thus, Mark gives us a strong picture of both the humanity and the divinity of Jesus. With love to all. Pastor Cheryl.